Hey everybody, it's Melody. So this is my Jasmine inspired makeup tutorial. Um, I don't really like it. I just don't think this look suits me. It suits Jasmine though. Um, this is kind of a mixture of inspired and what I think she looks like in the movie. As you can see, I contoured my nose so it looks skinnier and my lips look a little bit smaller because of the hard edges that I gave it and lining it to make it look smaller I guess um and I winged out the eyes I'm not very proud of the cat eyes that I gave it but I do really like the eyeshadow and the mixture of the gold and the browns and the champagne colors and then of course the black eyebrows and the bronze face um I don't really know if I look that much bronze if I look that much darker um I can't really tell because I don't have a mirror with me but um thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoy it Please leave your thoughts and comments down below, like I said at the end of the video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. So, for foundation for this, all I'm doing is applying my concealer just because it's super pale and I don't want to apply it over my whole face like a bronzer. Like a uh, foundation because, well, it's super pale and the bronzer that we're using might not darken it too much because of how pale it is, as you can tell. So yeah, and I'm just covering up my imperfections with this light redness around my nose and then just pimples and dark circles and stuff like that. And I'm going to actually be blending that with a foundation brush and I just washed my brushes so they're nice and clean for this tutorial. And the lighting is super dark because it's really rainy outside, like a storm's about to rupture so that is why it's kind of gloomy in here but it's whatever we'll work with it um now I'm just taking a bronzer and putting quite a bit into the lid this is a loose bronzer as you can tell and just tapping that in place And I'm taking my big powder brush, drilling in it, and it's just applying it everywhere. Make sure you're applying it evenly so you have a nice, even tan glow like Jasmine does. If you are already, like, really tan, go ahead and just skip this step. But I am really pale, so that is why... I'm doing this and Jasmine I thought it was going to be super difficult for me and I still think that because I have blonde skin, blue eyes, pale skin, but we'll make it work. I'm just going to use up all the powder that is in my lid, make sure I get as tan as possible. I'm almost done. Okay, so the bronzer is finished. So I turned on my light to see what that looks like uh, with my light on and actually like the view a lot better because you can see. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. Where did my brush go? I don't know where my brush went that I was going to use to contour. So I guess I'll just use an eyeshadow brush. It's what else. Okay. Alright, so I guess with an eyeshadow brush now, I'm taking a brown like this and contouring my nose make it skinny like jasmine's I'm just blending that Okay. 
kind of grabbing onto the ends of these hairs because to make sure it's blended nice and good and I still kind of look like I have a skinnier nose. So, wow, that did a really good job, the contouring. Um, anyways, uh, now we are going to darken our eyebrows. Once again, if you have black eyebrows, skip this step, but clearly I don't. Um, so I'm just going to take a black shadow and fill them in. Big difference. And I'm going to kind of create an arch at the end. And they don't have to be even because as Michelle Fawn, my favorite makeup guru, says, they need to look like sisters, not twins. Alright, and then I'm just going to color that in a little bit with eyeliner. Just to make it darker and a little bit more animated looking. Like that. Um, so I totally don't look like the same person right now. Um, tan skin sort of. Um, and black eyebrows, whatevs. Um, let's go ahead and get into, actually, I'm going to do blush right now. Where did my blush go? Here it is. And I'm just taking a peachy color, kind of. Now I'm doing just putting that way up here, just as a little glow. Not, not too, you know. Anyways, okay, so... Let's go ahead and get into eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, I took as my um, lid color, I took a kind of just sparkly beige like that. And I just applied this all over the lid. And with the more fluffier brush, I took a dark brown. This is actually the brown that I used for contouring. The one in the middle here. And just applied that in my crease. And a little deeper and darker on the outer corner. I don't know why my eyes always look uneven, but this is what we're actually going for more. And then, okay, this palette isn't very attractive, but um, with this seriously hit pan color, I'm applying a little bit of shimmer on the middle of my eye. Like that. And now I'm taking a gold to match the Arabic looking the Arabic looking atmosphere that goes on in Aladdin. And I'm just applying that a little bit over, but I am leaving a little bit of the champagne color to where it looks like that. Okay, my eyes look really uneven. This is what we're going for, like I said before. And now I'm just going to blend those. I 
sure they're not too uneven now. Whatever. Okay, and now, you just hear that thunder. <laughs> um, so that's actually it for eyeshadow. It was pretty easy because this is kind of a look to match Jasmine's look in the movie, but it's also half inspired with the gold. So yeah, and now I'm just lining my upper lash line with a liquid eyeliner. This color is brown, by the way, and I'm going to flick it up to a wing like this. By the way, this is the worst cat eye I've ever seen in my life, so I'm not very good at these, as you can tell. I'm just going to go over that again. These look like connected, like they're smeared. Oh well, okay. Now I'm taking a, oh that was a dark brown by the way, but I'm taking a black now and lining my waterline. Gonna darken this a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm curling my eyelashes and applying your favorite black mascara, or apply your favorite black mascara. Alrighty, so that is it for the eyes. They were pretty simple. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into lips. Now, Jasmine's lips in the movie Aladdin, they aren't red at all or pink. They are kind of just natural lips, but I didn't have like a nude lipstick. So I am taking my ruby, like dark brown ruby. This is called Plum Rum, and it's from New York Color. And I'm taking a lip brush and I'm going to kind of try to shape my lips skinnier. And then fill them in. Like that. And then pretty hard. I hope my satellite doesn't go out because I need to watch the Teen Choice Awards tonight. Um, then I'm taking a nude lip gloss and going over that. And then to make the edges sharper, 
I'm taking la la la. Ooh. I'm taking more of my concealer. And outlining it. Blend that. taking a powder to set that. And so it gives a sharper look and yeah. So this is my Jasmine look. Um, I feel like I don't look like the same person now because my lips look skinnier and my nose looks skinnier too so I just whatever um so leave your thoughts and comments down below like dislike I don't really care um you can save it if you want uh this look is a mixture of being inspired and a mixture of being what I think she looks like in the movie and I kind of like it um without the dramatic eyebrows and winged and yeah, if the, uh, if the eyeliner wasn't winged and eyebrows, I would totally just go to the store right now. But it's raining, so I wouldn't go outside. Um, so thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Frankie says hi. Wait to the camera. Say hello. He doesn't know who I am. Bye, guys. <laughs>